Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Another day, another tutorial. My name is Peter from White Raven Productions and thank you for tuning in. Today we're looking at batch export in DaVinci Resolve. Now if you're like me and you're doing a lot of social media content for brands, you know that it's a lot of work in DaVinci because you have to do it one timeline at a time. Now what if I told you that there is a way to actually do this quite easy, quite effectively, and you don't have to select every individual timeline. So without further ado, let's jump into DaVinci and let's check this out. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of timelines. They're all 16 by nine aspect ratio. And if I wanted to export these, I would have to click on the timeline, go to the delivery page, go to a single file, then go to file, select timeline name, and then add to the render queue which is perfectly fine if you have one edit or two edits or three edits. But if you have, like in this project, 64, this is gonna get annoying. So here is how you actually do it a little bit more quickly. So I want to export these all in one go. So what I do is I create a new timeline. I call this export 16 by nine. 4k because this is actually 4k now you can check if your format is 4k and that is so is the case so i said say create and then it opens this timeline what you do is simply select all these timelines that you want to export you drag them into this timeline there you go and as you can see now you have all the videos right here pretty cool and what you can do now is actually export this timeline so you go to the delivery page you go to individual files because you want all these timelines to export individually so you you select individually and then on under the file you say source name so now you have the actual name of the timeline very nice and then of course you can select here your ratio and then your quality. So simply add it to the render queue and render. And as you can see, it's now rendering all eight of these clips. Very nice and very easy. So if I go to my dumps file where I dump my videos, you can see here it exported everything. Pretty nice and extremely easy. That's all there is to it. It's super easy, it's super effective. Now let's go over a few of the advantages of doing this and some of the things that you need to keep in mind to make sure that everything goes well. So if you change something in the uh, edit, in the export timeline, it changes with it because it's simply the timeline in another timeline. What you do need to keep in mind is that if you make a video longer, so for example, you make a six second video, you make it 12, you have to manually make it longer because the timeline does not automatically uh, gets longer. So keep that in mind. Something to keep this, uh, this process simple and to make sure that I don't make unnecessary uh, mistakes. For this, I actually just made presets for every single aspect ratio that, um, I make content in so I have the 16 by 9, 9 by 16, 1 by 1 and 2 by 3 aspect ratios and I have a base file that I can open and then I can copy these four files, drag them into the project and simply have all the export timelines already ready to go. It, 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 it might be obvious but it is true it saves you actually a lot of time when doing this. If you have to individually add every single timeline for every single version <laughs> and we're going what six versions sometimes it's gonna be rough so <laughs> so it's this works really well and guys that's actually everything there is to it as far as batch exporting in davinci uh, concerns so thank you for watching i hope you find it useful if you did give it a like i would appreciate that you know, and if this has your interest, subscribe to the channel. We're doing uh, a lot of videos and we love to grow uh, a cool community. And then the only thing to say is... Later. <laughs>